Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, we're going to be using the lens blur filter inside of All One Photo Raw to take a photo from this right here to this final result. So, stay tuned and let's go. All right. Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. And like you already have seen, we're going to go ahead and use the lens blur to blur this background. Now, this is something that you may want to do, but your subject was a little too close to the background. So because you couldn't get the depth of fill that you wanted, you may need to throw in a lens blur. Uh, this also comes in handy if you're using a lens that can only stop down to maybe f5.6. So you just want to bring a little bit more separation between your foreground subject and your background subject. So obviously what we're going to do is come over to the effects module and hit add filter. And we're going to come down to the center column here and click on lens blur. And lens blur is going to apply to the entire image. Now, right now, we want to go ahead and set this the way that we want it to go. And I won't get into too much detail because I want to show you how to make that separation from the background to the foreground in this video. But if you are interested in uh, what each of these sliders do over here in the lens blur module, please leave a comment down below. And if you find value in today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. I will greatly appreciate it. So what I'm going to do instead is hit more and I'm going to go uh, with one of these bokehs. I think I'll go with bokeh large. That seems to blur the background pretty good. I don't know if that's the one that I used in the preview, but that's okay. So the very first thing that we have to do is make a punch out around our uh, person here. And I want to mask her out. So that way the blur is not on her. The way that you do that is first you want to lower the opacity. This just makes it easier for you to see. And then you're going to click on your lens blur. You're going to get a brush and I'm going to go ahead and grab just a standard size brush. Uh, and I'm going to go with a feather of zero, 100% opacity and 100% flow. And with paint out selected, I'm going to make a pretty large brush. Uh, because I don't need to be entirely accurate. We're going to go through and clean up this mask using the um, the perfect brush. But what I want to do right now is really just get rid of as much of this blur as possible. And I'm going to do a really fast job here. But you're going to want to take some time to go through and make sure that you get the uh, the blur remove the way that you would expect it to be um, and you know just take some time to get the end result that you're really looking for now I'm using a mouse right now I did do this earlier with a Wacom tablet and it was a little bit more intuitive but I don't know if everyone's using a Wacom tablet so I'm just gonna use a mouse uh, because I think most people have a mouse accessible to them uh, so that should work we're going to go ahead and hit O and look at our overlay real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so got a pretty rough selection of the uh, subject. And now what I want to do is zoom in just a little bit further. We're going to go ahead and hit Command Plus. This is going to zoom us in without ever having to leave our uh, tool. And then I can see that I missed a little bit around her face here. So I'm just going to go right, sorry, my mouse ran into my keyboard. All right, I'm going to go right around here and I'm just going to take it off of her glasses as well. Hold down the, not, not command space bar. There we go. Hold down just space bar and click and drag. And we'll go ahead and get it off of the logo here. And this is actually doing a pretty good job. I won't complain too much. Now, obviously, I'm getting this glow up here, and I don't want that. And 
this is why I'm using a hard brush just going around the edges uh, so I can get as much of that glow from her hoodie because as it blurs it spreads it a little bit and uh, there's ways of offsetting that if you want you can probably mess around with the optical quality or whatnot but again I'm not going into the features so what I'm gonna do is go around because I want to minimize as much of that glow as I can and like I said I'm gonna use the perfect brush to really get a more precise cut out of her uh, but what I wanted to do was get rid of a lot of the filter um, up front it just makes it easier in the back end when you know you're you're really trying to fine-tune and refine your mask uh, and if you didn't catch the masking live stream you can check the cards up above or the card up above or you can go over to the description box once you follow this video and I'll also link it in the end card so that way you have it in a few different places uh, because learning how to manipulate mask inside of on one really does help out and you know we're, we're gonna try and make this look as natural as possible which is why we chose lens blur instead of like Gaussian blur uh, or just the blur or anything like that all right so now I'm just going to hit all the way around and again I'm not making the most perfect selection uh, and I am using a mouse to do this all right and we'll get in here get this hair this hair really does glow or at least it spreads with the blur all right let's go ahead and take a look at that with our overlay see how that looks wow that that doesn't look too bad I'm not gonna lie it doesn't look too bad all right go ahead and hit O again and this time I'm gonna go around uh, with the mad or the perfect brush I went ahead and hit command R and then I'm going to hit shift X because I want to add in the blur uh, around the edges all right and this is just going to make sure that where she is most of the blur is just going to nicely uh, tighten around her but obviously here on the nose doesn't look too good so I'm going to go ahead and hit shift X make my brush a little bit smaller and it looks like some went on back on our skin so I'm just gonna refine this uh, and again you're gonna do this for your image uh, especially if it's like a portrait or whatever if you want to download this image and follow along you can go to the description box below and you'll find a link to this wonderful wonderful photo as well and you'll be able to follow along now as you can see I'm still using the magic eraser or I'm sorry perfect brush not the magic eraser all right I keep saying that uh, slip in words, but all you're gonna do is just go around the subject until you get a nice clean cutout in the mask. Uh, you're gonna have to add, subtract. You know, it, it's like a back and forth. Sometimes, like for me, my mouse, uh, I run out of space on my trackpad or on, on my mouse pad. Uh, but the goal here is really just to fill in any of the gaps all right now I got rid of a lot of it and as you can see the glow is starting to disappear because as I add in more and more of her the silhouette around her or whatever uh, that glow on the outside which is very faint and there's a way that we can deal with that uh, but you know you want to make this look as as natural as possible so that way someone can believe that this was captured with a camera especially if you're using one of those lens like the kit lens uh, which there's nothing wrong with using a kit lens by the way I'm not trying to shame anybody uh, but you know if the end result didn't come out the way that you would like it to and you want that blurry background um, one of which could have two things could have happened either one your subject was too close to the background so there just wasn't enough distance for the focal plane to really uh, make you know the blur happen um, or you were just using a lens that didn't allow for you to stop down far enough 
so you can get a wide open aperture let more light in which blurs the background in return so no worries this will help with getting that uh, situated for you because you know it's fairly easy and I'm doing this in real time I was thinking about speeding through this but I want to show you just how quick and easy this can be done all right now obviously there's a hole in here so what I'm gonna do is hit shift X I'm gonna turn off the perfect brush and I'm just gonna paint the blur right back in over here because I deleted it earlier uh, just so I didn't have to spend too much time trying to you know be all super perfect and, and precise uh, but now I am going to make sure that that gets added. Let me hit O to see where this is. That looks like it's about right. And then, of course, what you can do is hit Command R, turn on the perfect brush, hit Shift X, and just go around the edges, make sure, making sure that you know you get a nice little cutout. You don't have to do this uh, because I don't think it will even be noticeable uh, by mostly anyone who views it but just for you know your own sake you may want to do it so that's why i'm doing it just to show you that can be done and then we'll hit oh again as you can see it tightened up those edges just a little bit uh and i can probably do a little bit better around here and i don't have to be again too accurate so i'm just going to delete this All right went in over her sleeve here and that's good for that side now we'll come over here and you can see that there's a big gap right here if I hit O you can see that we didn't tighten up anything on that side so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift X and you guessed it I'm just gonna paint right along the edge here and paint all that back in and I'll even Go ahead and just fill in all that. Hit O again. Oh, missed a spot right here, so I'll just paint over it. And it looks like this should... Oh, that's our shirt. Okay, so I missed some areas right here. I'll just go ahead and paint that over. Hit O. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to come all around here. So what I'm going to do is hit Shift X. And on the inside of her jacket, I'm just going to hover around here and kind of just tell on one, like, hey, I don't want any mask right here. Or I don't want any of the effect right here. All right. And this should help with redefining. Let's go ahead and hit O. And it looks like they're was already nothing there so I'm gonna hit shift X hit O again and this time I'm gonna follow along the outside of her jacket with painting in while I'm using the perfect brush which this is going to allow me to blur everything around here now if you notice the blue on the wall matches pretty closely to the blue on her coat and you know that's just the way it is sometimes uh on one does a pretty good job actually with separating those so i'll go ahead and get rid of that and i'll go ahead and come down here hit command r turn it off i just want to get rid of that again you don't have to get as precise as i am i'm just showing you what you can do as you start to get through your edit and you're like, oh, I can't get some of these areas uh, to work the way that I want it to work. Well, this is how you do it. And it is a little bit of a back and forth. But I promise you, the hard part is about to be done. Like, we are nearing the end of the most challenging part. And again, this is a little bit more intuitive with a Wacom tablet. So if you have the money to invest in one of those, or if you have... The desire to invest in one of those it will definitely make an experience like this a little bit better but as you can see I am making do with just a mouse and it is working just fine all right 
So now let's hit Command-0. That should give us a good overview. And as you can see, I have a pretty good selection. The way that you can really tell if you have a good selection is go ahead and pump your opacity right back up. Give it a second to render. And as I can see, I have some areas around the outside there. So what I'm going to do is just hit Feather and see if that fixes anything. I don't need a whole lot of Feather. Uh, I made it a little bit worse. So, and then looks like I got some challenges around the outside here as well. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Instead, what I'm going to do is just bring down my Feather a little bit more. And we're going to go on to the next step. Now, again, you're going to want to take time to fix these types of issues. Uh, and all it is is a huge back and forth. I, uh oh, I meant to hit Command Plus. I was hitting Spacebar Plus. That does nothing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And, you know, this is literally what I do. All I'm doing is rub, rolling across here. Uh, with the, and that did not do what I wanted it to do, is going across the edge here. Um, and I guess it would, at this point, I'm a little late on telling you this, but I'll show you here in a second. I'll just go ahead and paint over there, and we'll erase. As you can tell, I have my feather down uh, when I'm using the command, or I'm sorry, the perfect brush. But if you look at my threshold, I have my threshold pretty high. And the reason I have my threshold high, my transition low, is I wanted to sample as much of the color as possible. And since this is all blue, I just wanted to find anything that's similar to the tone that I'm painting uh, over with the center. I just want that to get added in. Uh, or removed from, just like I'm doing here. I'm removing the uh, blur from the hood as I just refine that a little bit. Now, you could use Refine Edge. doesn't always work the greatest, which is why I resort to just using the perfect brush, taking my time, and I'm actually okay with going a little bit over like this, right? Uh, especially in the problem areas. I'm okay with going a little bit into the background just so I can get a clear picture of what I need to paint over. And this time I'm going to make my brush just a little bit larger and I'm going to paint right above here. Again, I have a hard edge on this brush. There's no feather. So that should work just about right and I'm gonna go with that so hit command zero brings us back to a full screen version and I have a pretty good selection here if I hit O you'll see that I have a pretty good selection there's like a weird spot down here so I'm gonna just clean that up now I keep saying I'm done cleaning up but it's just weird so all right now, what I'm going to do is click on the masking bug. And this is where this effect is really going to come to life, I think. Now, you could absolutely just leave it like so and go on about your day. Uh, I don't think anyone will say much about it. However, it does look a little odd because it doesn't naturally fade. So what you want to do... Uh, is grab the masking bug and go to linear bottom and what we're going to do is fade most of this background and then have a very or, or have less of a fade down here at the bottom so the way to do that is you click all the way at the bottom and then you just drag this transition point uh, and the reason why you click at the bottom is you really only want one transition point uh, now, you can move your transition uh, because this right here represents 50% of whatever the effect is, right? Uh, so, really quickly, this is 100% of the effect applied. This is 
99 all the way down to 50 and then this will be 50 all the way down to zero so everything on the bottom half of this means that there's no effect applied this is just what the original photo looks like I don't necessarily want that for this photo which is why I drag this all the way down and I bring my 50% mark uh, essentially into the bottom uh, or lower than the bottom third so whatever this is you know just down towards the bottom and I play around with this line to figure out where I want that transition to really start uh, where do I want it to be 100%? Maybe I want it to be 100% at this parallel line in the wall. So I can do it something like that. Uh, or maybe I do want most of the background blurred. And then I'm just going to bring it up to here and transition this a little bit more. So that way it's not so blurry. And, you know, that looks a little bit more natural. Uh, it doesn't look entirely natural, but it does look a little bit more natural. Now, I'm going to hit O and show you the mask. And as you can see, I have the effect 100% there. And then there's like this really, really gradual transition. Look at how gradual that transition is uh, from the bottom going all the way up to the top. Now, if you're not familiar with adding a uh, gradient mask on top of your selections go ahead and check out that masking video it'll definitely definitely help you out it's a little long it was a live stream uh, but i think it will answer a lot of your questions about how to add multiple masks inside of on one uh, so you can get a similar result as to what i just got here so again if you found this video helpful smash the like button because it greatly helps this channel grow if you are interested in seeing content just like this consider hitting that subscribe button because i produce videos on a very consistent basis now if you're new to photo on one photo raw and you're looking to download a free trial check the description box below you can get a uh, download to a trial and if you happen to purchase through that link it is an affiliate link i do get a little bit of a commission it helps this channel but it's at absolutely no extra cost to you if you got questions on how to use On One Photo Raw, please drop it in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help out. Or if you just have questions in general about photography, drop it in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help out. And last but absolutely not least, if you are looking for free presets to On One Photo Raw, go ahead and join my email list. Uh, that is also a link down in the description box below. And just for signing up, you get free presets to On One Photo Raw. And I am producing more and more presets on a very consistent basis, or at least uh, I'm testing them. I haven't released uh, a lot of them, but I'm testing the presets just to make sure that they work. Uh, and if that's something that you want, completely free to get. All you got to do is sign up. Uh, and that's just so I have your email so I can send it to you. All right. Well, until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.